Okay, so as promised, how to put this all back together. So once you've cleaned it out, use contact cleaner to get all the dust and shit out of there. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to put it back together again. You can probably see how the four connection things either side fit. Um, I'm actually going to clean my ball a bit better than I did last night, so... Hmm, tastes nice. That's a joke. Um, okay. Oh, damn, don't fall on the floor. <laughs> I've got it here. Alright, right, all right. so I'm just going to drop that ball back in, into the middle. Put my little tiny weenie, about 3mm each in length. Put that back. All four of them back, if I can. Of course I can, I did it last night. I'm an expert now. Um, right, come on. I've got big hands. Not ideally for a fiddly job. Oh, but this one's just fallen out. In fact, if you've got a lot of dust in there, they won't sit in properly anyway. Right, there we go. So that's that mechanism back in place. If you like to focus, I know, but there's a ball in the middle and there are four of the roller balls either side. Now, you need to make sure, have I made your mental note as to which way round this actually goes? Okay, you can now pop that plastic little thing back in. But before you do that, you need to just push in, bend back in the four metal um, clips that are either side. So when you go to put the plastic thing back in, it actually holds it. Now, I just need to get it the right way up, uh, which is the long, that long bit sits on that way up, the right way round. Okay. Now, it might not just sit in straight away as you push it back in, but if you've, if you've moved the clips, if you bent the clips back, you should be okay, alright? Which I think I have, actually, in this case. You can actually move the ball at this point as well and see how free it is. But at which point, hopefully you should have free rolling ball, ball free thing. Right, okay, so here we go, back to the BlackBerry main component. Hopefully you haven't had too much of a problem with the bit in between, uh, on the bottom rather, the connection to the button. Um, I think the magnetics, I think there's a little and magnetic, I think the current is actually made as you move it. Right, the way I understand, I remember rightly, the bit underneath where the, there it is, the bit, oh you can't really see it on the video camera here, it's a bit crap, um, where the prong of the underneath bit, the springy bit, goes, it actually sits to the left, you'll see what I mean if you look carefully at it, but the two prongy bits either side around the, the main chassis sort of go vertical on the top on the bottom part, yeah, and that you should just be able to slot back in, just to drop back in. Now. And there you have it, and you should also, the button should also work. Hear it clicking? Alright. Now, putting this thing, this, this has got to go back, and again, just bend the, um, oh, damn, I've done it too much of it. Bollocks. Just bend that back in ever so slightly, just so the little clips can sit back in. And drop that. And this is what is it? It's it's ten to ten in the morning. I'm usually in bed. And just drop that back. This might this took me a little bit more while to get in last night, but having done it once already it seems to have worked. So there you go, that's slotted in. You must bend the pins back in, otherwise you'll it'll never sit. Because you obviously bent them out to get it out. And my ball still Well it does go up this time. Wow. I think I might have even fixed it. Excellent. Brilliant, okay. So now if you want to, before you actually put everything, screw everything back, you can just, oh, I'll just drop the screws. You can, you can just hold it together in the chassis and just put the battery together and hold it all, but you don't need to, if you want, if, if you know, just to check it before you, before you put it all back together again, to try it out again. Right, okay, so putting this back in, so you've got the sort of main front part of the uh, BlackBerry. Um, I also cleaned out the back of the keyboard as well, it was full of, 
all kinds of amazing things. It was growing in it as well. Now, what you need to do here to slide it back in is you need, it needs to slide in this way, okay? Uh, there's the two little plastic prongs sit in between the PCB and the front and the actual screen. I don't know if you can see that, just there. But anyway, that just slides in. Once you sort of get that in, you can then drop the rest of it in, but you need to pull this just little bit out on the side so the connections can sit in the chassis part. And there you have it. Check that out. Went straight in, first time. That's rather unique. Um, and then just drop in the back piece. Now, as I broke mine last night, my top screw won't go in properly, but it does sort of tend to hold. I notice how we managed to uh, keep the SIM card in. I've sent my bowl back to Blackberry about seven times and it's come back every time with the same problem. Uh, so I've decided to do it myself. I did it with the curve as well. Uh, how do I get that thing back in? This, this, sh this shouldn't be as fiddly for you as it is for mine because mine's broken. Um, but anyway, the simple thing is you can see what's happening. Basically you just need to get this back on and screw it down. Um, and that's it. Well, I hope this has been of help to you. If I can get this damn thing in, I can even show you how to screw screw little screws down as well. Go on, get in there, you bugger. Is that in? I think that's in, actually. Yeah, that is in. No, it's not. This side's not in. That's weird, isn't it? I wonder what's happening there. Oh, hold on. I think I remember. Does that have to clip in? Oh, it might have to clip in a different way. Hmm. Something's amiss here, I'm not sure what it is. Well, somehow it will clip in. Uh, there are two little clips at that end. That might be it. What I want to do is break off this little bit here. Oh, yeah, that's another thing, by the way, I want to mention. This little plastic bit, this little rubber, rubber, this little, yeah, this little bit of rubber here has to sit, oh, has to sit on that, on top of that thing there. So make sure that just sits on there before you put the cup back on. That might have fallen off. I meant to mention that earlier. Um, right, where is it? Actually, this chass the chassis thing does actually contain the the connections for everything, actually, including the camera. Anyway, I hope this has been of some use to you. I'm going to carry on and try and figure out why this isn't slotting in. Um, but it should slot in. Oh, there's a bloody screw in there. That's why. That's stopping it from going in. I've chopped <laughs> to drop a screw in there. Right. I've found it. I figured out why it doesn't work. Okay. And that was rather stupid. Um, okay, here we go. There you go. I'm in. Right, okay. Now put all the screws back. Okay. Uh, don't over tighten them because you might need to undo it again to fix it again. You don't want to mess up the, uh, the screws like I did last night. Um, And I hope you have battery free usage. Battery free? Free free trouble free. Trouble free usage of your battery bold. There was a one other video doing this, I was really surprised. Loads for the curve. There's nothing for the bold. It's because you have to take it apart. Whereas the curve you don't. You can just take it off from the front part of the um of the phone, can't you? Um I actually dropped the screw earlier. Where did that go? Typical, I've lost one now, isn't it? That might be okay anyway. Right, okay, so battery in. Light on. Put the back on. The bolt two is coming out soon anyway, so that's what I'm going to get. And there you have it. A, and it moves up oh, only a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think my phone's worn. Anyway, thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Bye.